Hello everyone, do you want to go to some people's houses, some random people's houses, and like go right in their front door and just like, I don't know, walk in, no knocking, no door burring, just run in. How about we all just go to people's houses, run in, and just scare them half to death? Wouldn't that be funny? <laughs> Isn't it so funny? Mm, I love TikTok so much. Let's do this all the time. TikTok. I love it. Not really. Kind of. It's a big issue on the internet these days, the way TikTok is run, the way your data, your data is being used, how it's being taken and developed and studied and looked at and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but today, we're talking about a fellow who was on TikTok. I don't think he's there anymore. He is, in fact, banned. Uh, he is probably one of the world's most hated people ever, honestly, genuinely. He is not a very liked person. And uh, today we are talking about a, no a man known as Madman Mizzy, or Mizzy as he is well known. You just type in Google Mizzy Prankster and you're going to see pretty much everything on him. Pretty much all his dirt, all the uh, dirty laundry that he has, everything he's done, his failures, his a accomplishments in scaring children and stuff. I don't know, but Mizzy is probably one of the most well-known TikTok creators, primarily for his trend of uh, going into random people's houses. He thinks it is, or thought, I should say, rather, it is absolutely hilarious to just open a door and just walk right in. He thought it was absolutely funny, and so he posted that kind of content on TikTok. In fact, many, many different times he would do this and he would get the police called on him. He would do stupid stuff like this. It's in the public if they want to get naked. But this ain't the first time we've done it. Obviously, if you've seen from the past video like a year ago, me and my brother skits went out here and done the same thing last time. He would go to stores and just trash stores for no good reason. Like a lot of pranksters seem to do. You know, they target local stores, local places of commerce that are, you know, good for the community. But Anyhow, today, Mizzy is in fact back in the news. He's back, he's he's checking out the entire internet and saying, listen guys, I'm just gonna show you a little bit more of me. I'm gonna show you a little bit more of what I'm capable of. No, no I'm just kidding, he's not doing that. But in fact, he is on the hot seat yet again uh, for something he posted on April 3rd, basically. He posted a picture of himself and his infant child uh, in a picture. Here's the picture up on screen with the caption, Don't call child services. My baby loves me. And in fact, it is a joke. I believe it is a joke. I think it is hilarious. Honestly, I don't know. I don't really care. I don't have kids. This doesn't, I don't laugh when I see child photos, to be honest with you. Call me cold hearted or whatever. I didn't really laugh when I saw the photo. I didn't really uh, get upset either. Some people did. That's for sure. Some people got upset. In fact, uh, this whole picture resulted in basically him being reported to the police. And the police came to his house and basically arrested him for endangering children. Which is kind of crazy. Personally, I really don't think that he is a person who is grabbing some children and just hanging them up by their feet like all the time. I don't think this is, a, I think like most people do, if you go and ask someone, hey, let's see a funny picture of your kids, you're probably going to see these kind of pictures uh, quite regularly. He's probably like, hey, let's take a quick picture. You know, this will be really funny. This will be funny for social media. Uh, and, and I'm not, I'm kind of defending him here because I understand to a point I understand that, you know, this this is crazy. This is insane. They're holding a child by his feet. I don't think he held him by his feet for that long, to be honest with you. Uh, you know, I remember, I remember as a child, my parents, I thought it as a child, I was I was a small boy. I I they would just grab me by my ankles and go, woo, and then put me back down. You know, and you know, I didn't suffer any brain damage. So, don't know what's going on there. I'm just saying that this situation is not as bad as his 
despisers, his haters make it out to be. As far as I'm aware, uh, I understand the fact that permanent, permanent uh, damage can be had from prolonged upside downness. I guess is how you say it. But I don't really believe that that is the case here. I believe that it was just a funny picture. He thought, oh, I'm going to post a picture of my son, my child on the internet, and it'll be funny, and people will think it's funny. They'll have a good laugh. I had a good laugh, and, you know, maybe we'll get some good interactions. I don't know. But it definitely turned uh, south, it turned sour for him. This has not helped him on the internet. In fact, this has greatly harmed him. Uh, his haters, the people who hate him are more definitely than the people who like him. You don't speak to someone like that. What do you mean? I just wanted, do you want to get naked? It's okay then, you definitely want to get naked then. That is a fact, and to be honest, that is completely justified. Granted, his past, the things he's done to families, the things he's um, done to children, not necessarily done directly, but kind of, where he has traumatized families. He has traumatized children. The fact that children uh, see a random person just show up at their house and the parents are frightened, the kids see that, and it, it definitely takes some kind of mental toll on them, which is not good. So all the hate is justified, right? And he did go to jail for these crimes. He has technically paid his debt to society. He served his time. He did what he was supposed to do, I guess. I don't know how long he went to jail, to be honest with you. So essentially, he went to jail twice in this in the period of time, somewhere between 2023 and 2024. He was in jail twice, obviously not very long, but according to him, uh, he has made a change in his movement, a change in his life, essentially, and that he has changed his ways. He has become a better person. He has cast off his prankster. His pranks, his just absolute brain rot content lifestyle. And he has set himself up to basically be a good parent, you know, a good father, a good provider, trying to better the lives of his family that he has, uh, according to his social media. And he posted this um, on April 14th, in which, okay. So he posted this on April 14th, I'm assuming after the fact. Of this all that all went down and so we have here so enough people are saying I shouldn't be posting I shouldn't be on socials I've been but I've been punished I've apologized twice full video below and I'm walking a new path think how many people go to prison come out and go straight back to their old ways but I'm not and if my story inspires just one other person to make better choices then it's been worth it so I'm back and I ain't going anywhere and we outside okay and from this, from what he's saying on here, it appears that he has genuinely made a change in direction. He is changing his life for the better. He's not doing this anymore. He's not out there for the internet clout, as some would have you believe and some would say. Uh, he posted then another picture of his children uh, for all the haters and the racists that reported him to the police essentially this is what he says and to be honest it does come down to his haters they people don't like him they have a right obviously but at the same time everybody does deserve a second even a third chance to be honest everybody get three strikes right and he is making a change right he's making a better situation for himself and for his child and it's and it's plain to see he's posted other pictures pictures here He's got one on here from April 11th in which he says, no one will ever understand my journey fully. I went from being trending number one in the UK to getting sectioned for 20 days to go to jail twice and still having to live with the consequences of my actions till this day. Keep reading and then he follows up under this post. Please still be coming to my house to arrest me for old videos or stupid things I'd done in the past and I'm still paying off thousands in fines I accumulated over the years. Going on all these TV shows and podcasts makes you feel unstoppable. When all these YouTubers make videos on you, it feels like you the but In reality, my life had a huge void in it because I stopped being authentic and started to ride the clout bandwagon, which made me lose what I had when I first started social media at eight. He started social media at eight? That's crazy. My creativity. 
I sold myself for others' entertainment, and I wasn't help helping myself, just making my life more harder to deal with that when it's already hard out here. With cost of living and the and matrix operations being banned from posting to social media was probably one of the best things to happen to me because it gave me time to myself to realize what I was doing was unacceptable and that I couldn't get away with it for any longer. And the only people I'm hurting is myself, my child, and my mom, which technically isn't necessarily true. You are technically hurting the live, was were hurting the lives of the people you were pranking. So, but I'm, I'm not gonna nitpick, even though that is technically not true. This symbolizes a new era in my life, a period where I can grow and flourish and personal and flourish personally. So I can never make the same mistakes I did in the past, alongside construction i'm also doing an internship at vp and ldn writing articles on pressing subjects going on in the world this has helped me ground my energy and think about how to move for the betterment of society the only way is up and minor setbacks require major comebacks and uh what is sad to see is this underneath what you did to that family was unforgivable shove your <laughs> X factor sob story you know they don't care which is delete your social media and disappear that's shame uh, you 100% deserve everything bad that's ever happened to you as a result of your stunts and this is true this is absolutely true but the fact remains that he is genuinely trying to be better he's trying to be a better person he's making the effort he's got a proper job he's trying to uh, involve himself more to Put his mind off of himself and onto others according to what is all i can say is what he's what he's showing us right what he's showing us on the internet i can't really say that this is genuine but from what it seems what it appears to be it does look genuine he's making posts like this i have very productive meeting with mr paul bridge and rick rick's world i truly believe there are people out there who are willing to help me get back on track I plan to do any, everything I can to be a positive person in society. He's making these posts, and uh, to be honest with you, I believe him. I believe him. All we can do is believe him, to be honest with you. I don't believe he's going to go anywhere, and I believe he deserves a second. Uh, he might have had his second chance. He even deserves a third chance, I believe. People can change. People can be better. People can do good things in society. Where is Mr. Mad Mizzy now? Uh, well, he's he is in fact uh, still a little crazy, a, a little deranged, I will say. Yes, he definitely deserves a third chance. We can all agree on that. However, he has fallen into the embrace, into the uh, cultish-like grasp of the Tate brothers, which I think is kind of hilarious. Uh, and then mainly because it fits their mo a little bit where they always pick the kind of not so brightish extremist uh crazy people who they can indoctrinate and get them to fall on people like sneeko and uh such you know apparently now mizzy as well he's a big he's a big andrew tate fan i can tell you that you know he's a he's a huge political figure huge political figure loves his politics likes to poke fun at people is his opinions a little bit crazy yes absolutely but um he is entitled to them i guess freedom of speech and all that uh it's kind of funny he makes a lot of different posts on his uh twitter about like donald trump and uh, and, uh joe byron you know, I, I don't like Joe Byron, and he's and he he loves he loves posting political things, which I think is hilarious considering he doesn't even live in the United States. He has no actual idea what is even happening uh, anywhere. And I'm not being political or anything. I'm just saying, I just think it's hilarious how he posts all this random American political drama posts to essentially uh, get clicks, get interactions on twitter i think it's absolutely hilarious and he's fallen into the the tate the tate bandwagon of debauchery of uh, criminality they the, i believe the tates are probably the people who are the biggest 
mental manipulators. They find people they can mentally manipulate and they just use them and get them to do things they want. They they stick them with their little needles and go, learn, learn, learn our information. Women, evil. He's a huge fan of the Matrix. He thinks the Matrix is against him, which is a common concept to basically destroy the idea that people don't like you. Uh, it's not that people don't like you, it's that the matrix, the invisible, the material, the numbered matrix, the little ones and zeros of society just absolutely hate you. They're trying to shut you down. The matrix, the matrix, or the matrix is just enveloping us all. He's a big believer in the matrix, which is, again, a Tate philosophy, a big Tate philosophy. Andrew Tate has shaped our generations more than we possibly know and more than we possibly want, unfortunately, but that is a fact, so yeah. Thank you guys for coming and watching. As always, please subscribe if you enjoy this content. I'm trying to be super cool and super original, uh, and some people, I'm not saying who, I'm not saying who, I'm not gonna name any names, but some people think I'm not, but the Matrix is just trying to shut me down. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, please subscribe if you like the content. If not, I don't, well, you know, whatever. Uh, if you did like this video, please like this video. It genuinely helps the channel grow. It's something we need and something to help me as well. If you'd like to do that, please do that. And uh, thank you. And uh, as always, you have a glorious day.